Alrighty, it's time for another 6.5 PRC video. So we've been having some struggles with our 6.5 PRC with Nostler Brass. So we're gonna move over to ADG Brass and this is gonna be the first video where we really try to work up a good load. Um, it's probably gonna be a few videos in a row here of 6.5 PRC. This is just our starting video. So today we're going to use H4831SC. Wanted to go with a extreme powder because I've always had great luck with all the extreme powders. So why not 4831SC? And we're gonna use the 147 grain ELD match. Again, always had good luck with the ELD match bullets. We're gonna continue using our CCI number 34 primers. Now, ADG on their website states that you should always start at the minimum loads for ADG brass because it's thicker and has less case capacity than some other brass manufacturers. Now, I didn't follow that to a T here. Um, Hornady has low data for this combination here and we're going to start out at 49.5 grains which is just a little bit below their minimum load and we're going to work up to 51.5. Now we'll see where this ends up with velocity. We may be very low but we have to follow their instructions and uh, start low and work our way up. We're going to use these at 2.980 cartridge overall length. These hit the lands in my rifle at about 3.040. So we're about 60 thousands off the lands. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get out on the range and we're gonna see if the 147 ELD is gonna shoot out of my gun and we'll see how velocity is. Alrighty, we are out here on the range. This is my 24 inch Begara B14 HMR, chambered in 6.5 PRC, 24 inch barrel, one and eight twist. It's got a Helos BTR Gen 2, four to 20 Athlon optic on it. And the gun is cold, it is cold today. Um, it probably is no warmer than 25 degrees. Um, but there's really not a whole lot of wind, so should be a decent day to shoot. Now the barrel is cool. Um, and we're going to go ahead, and this is our real first start to uh, developing any loads with our ADG brass. So hopefully we don't run into any issues with uh, case capacity and things like that. We started relatively low, which we already talked about loads, so hopefully we'll be all right. And this is really our first cold day of the year here. And I haven't shot this gun much lately. So we'll see how she shoots today with a 147 grain ELD match. All right, first load at 49.5 grains. Guessing this will be maybe like 2,800, 2,700 feet for a second. We'll see. <coughs> 27, 30. So nice slow velocity to start. All right, that looks like a good start, doesn't it? <coughs> All right, threw that one just a little bit. What was it, low into the right? Not a bad start though. So that is three, we average 27, 19 feet per second, 13 SD. Now again, these are three shot groups, so I wouldn't pay too much attention to SDs and things like that. Just want to get an idea of where we're at. So we started nice and low, so that's a good thing. And we're gonna go ahead and move on up here. Okay, that one followed our point of impact down a little low. Like the 147 is going to try to shoot, which is good. I really haven't found uh, a load other than the 140 boat tail hollow point with this gun, and I guess and the 140 burger that really shot well. It's been a little picky, especially lately. <laughs> Threw that one just a little high. Let's see if our barrel's warm enough at all. So it is. It is warm. I mean. Not quite warm enough to warm my hands up. So, not real hot. It is a very cool day, like I said. Let's see what we look like there for our average. So we were a little bit more consistent there. Again, it's a three shot group, so I don't know that it matters, but 27, 26 feet per second. Still quite a bit slower than probably where we want to end up. But um, again, with this new brass and ADG recommends that we start super low, so obviously, we follow their instructions and start super low. That is part of the reason why we're doing three shots today. 
Happy with our performance with accuracy, though. Let's go ahead and see how this next load does. And two out of three again. It does seem like they're going to try to shoot, though. Um, that was our worst grip so far. We really need to replace the trigger in this gun, too. It does seem like, um, I don't know, every few shots you get one that just seems like the trigger has a little bit of extra creep. And I don't know if that's why some of the inconsistency has been there, but uh, that one we averaged 27.46. Also, could it be the barrel heating up? All right, we're still not hot by any means. I mean, we're lukewarm there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on up. <coughs> Got to put an extra round in there. That was one of those creepy trigger pulls, but it still felt like a good shot. But it's just it's just different than the other uh, the other rounds. It's not a nice clean break like it often is. But again, I don't think that really affected our shot too ter too terribly much. Actually, one of our better groups there, isn't it? Again, it's just it's a weird thing with the. The trigger that second shot definitely felt different as far as the trigger travel i don't know if you can see it on the video but it just creeps a little bit so let's see what those three those three we averaged uh 2761 8 sd so consistent sds uh, again it's three shots so it doesn't really matter but that tells us this is probably going to be a pretty good combo i would guess um we're going to go ahead and move up to our last group and i'm going to move the scope and eh, no i'm not I was going to move the scope left, but because we're getting to the edge of our paper, but it should be fine. If it groups that far off to the right there, we're going to be in trouble anyway as far as our group size goes, so who cares? All right, and our last shot of the day here. All right, another one of those creepy trigger pulls there. So it's like one every three, kind of a weird thing. Need to buy a new trigger for this gun or take it apart and see if I can adjust it some more. All right, so those three average 27.76 with an eight SD. And again, group sizes don't look bad across the board. We had that one, what was it, our third one across there that kind of opened up. But um, obviously we didn't meet velocity goals, so we're obviously gonna have to go up in our charge weights, but better safe than sorry. We followed ADG's recommendations of starting near the minimum load, and uh, we'll work up for, from there. I think the 147 is gonna shoot out of my Bagara. So let's get over there and let's check it out. All right, taking a look at our target here. Pretty good looking target overall. That first load at 49.5 grains. We get a little load for velocity at 27.19, 13 SD, but a good looking group at 0.68. Moving across to the next group there at 50 grains, we shot 27.27. Excellent SD at 0.75. Now this is three shots, so it probably doesn't matter. And another good looking group at 0.57. Moving across to 50.5 grains, we shot 27.46 feet per second, 5.8 SD, and the worst group of the day at 1.1. And 51 grain load, we ended up shooting 27, 61 feet per second, 8.5 SD, and another good looking group at 0 0.58 inches. And our last load of the day at 51.5 grains, we ended up at 27.76, 8.0 SD, and a decent looking 0 0.76 inch group. So pretty good showing here for the Bagara. Now these are three shot groups, but you know, pretty much all of them are under an inch. So it does look like this is going to be a good combination. 
Um, I think what you're going to see in the next video is we'll probably do a 10 shot ladder and then pick one out of that and shoot that. And if that doesn't turn out very good, then we may pull out the EC tuner. Now, when I say pull out the EC tuner, it's on the gun, but we may do a video kind of adjusting with the EC tuner. I really want to find a good load with my Bagara because I haven't found one in a little while. And obviously velocity was low today, so I don't know, I don't know if ADG, you know, kind of overestimated as far as how much less capacity we're going to have because obviously we didn't get anywhere near the velocities we'd want. These are almost 6.5 Creedmoor velocities. So we'll see in the next video how high we can push up with this ADG brass and 4831SC. Hope you guys enjoyed the video with the Bagara and uh, thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.